hi again so let's continue our course so we have seen as you can see how to track voltages in the previous part we gonna study and analyze the circuits the motherboard circuits and of course we gonna follow the signals and the voltage in the motherboard using of course schematic and please guys i guarantee for you that if you follow with me and understand this video i'm sure that you can troubleshoot and isolate any failure you have so let's get started so let's uh, see another time the animation as you can see here of 3 of 19 volt okay so 3 volt and 5 volt circuit as you can see okay now we get here 3 volt and 5 volt so from of course 19 volt we get 5 volt and 3 volt and in the previous video i give you a question or i can consider it a homework is this question is what exactly so as you can see here we have 19 volt okay here we have 19 volt into the drain of this MOSFET and of course 19 volt also here in the drain of this MOSFET so basically here we have 5 volts so this is the 5 volt channel and over here we have 3 volts so here we have the 3 volt channel okay so this is basically the 3 volt 5 volt circuit again one of the most important circuit in every motherboard is 3 volts always and 5 volt always without these two voltages nothing will be happen or okay with the motherboard because based on this voltage 3.3 volt and 5 volt other voltage are exists and generated okay here we have 19 volt okay this is the input voltage and here as you can see we will get here 3 volt and here we will get 5 volt as you can see so let's see the animation again as you can see here we have 3 volt from 19 volt to 3 volt and from 19 volt to 5 volt and of course using the same as you can see the same component same mosfets as you can see here we have the same reference of mosfet and over here same reference of, of mosfet and we got here different voltages so why and how easy so let's analyze a little bit the circuit what we have exactly in the circuit we have something that is very important as you can see the IC we called it the controller IC the control means what it controls the signals the amount of signal and voltage that is applied to each component here especially MOSFETs okay so its reference as you can see here we have TPE 51120 so this is the control IC okay so this IC basically control this two MOSFET for 3 volt 5 volt channel and also this two MOSFET for 5 volt channel so if you focus here you gonna see so let's try to remove 3 volt here okay so here if you focus we have as you can see here the drive high do you see the drive high and also here we have the drive high so drive high one as you can see is applied to the gate of this MOSFET and drive high or drive yes high low as you can see is applied to this MOSFET over here so let's first uh, speak about the five circuits five always channel so when we have here 19 volts okay let me do this okay uh, okay now here i have 19 volt over here so once we have 19 volt into drain of this MOSFET, so this ic will generate a drive high signal okay to the gate of this MOSFET. basically this control or this signal is a specific amount of current that will be controlled or that will control this MOSFET in order to generate 5 volts. 
in order to transform 19 volt to 5 volt and for this channel this MOSFET we gonna get here 3 volt so the amount of currents okay that we will get here in the gate is not like this one this one will be higher than this one so the control signal here for example let's assume that we have here as a control signal 1.5 volt example so here normally for example we should get 1.2 volt or 1.1 volt so let's make it easy for you let's assume that in order to generate 5 volt here the control signal here in the gate should be 5 volt so the control signal will be here 5 volt we will get here 5 volt and in order to be to get here 3 volt the control signal should be 3 volt okay do you understand a little bit? So this is how the MOSFET works. Basically, the MOSFET is a switch. We call it sometimes a switch or a bridge. Just it respects the control signal or that is applied to it. Okay. So and sometimes the MOSFET, sometimes we can, we have here 19 volt. It could give hair as output 19 volt. So here or this state, okay, happened in the input of the motherboard. Next to the power jack, we have switches. It takes into drain 19 volt and gives 19 volts. We call it switches, okay? So that's why we get here these two voltages, three volt and five volt, due to the control signal over here. And of course, these two voltages will be applied, as you can see, to this inductor. We have here two inductors for both channels. Basically, these two inductors, L4 and L3, are here as a purpose to adjust the current of these two voltages or current. Okay, they adjust the current and usually they increase the current a little bit. Why? Because the current is consumed, because the current that we have here, for example, will be consumed a little bit about these lines or path and the components in the motherboard. That's why here we have inductor in order to compensate or adjust or increase the current okay after that we have capacitors for this channel we have two capacitor one electrolytic capacitor c21 and another ceramic capacitor c22 here also we have two capacitors filtering capacitors c43 and c53 we have 330 microfarad as a capacity of this one 4 volt and over here one microfarad 10 volts okay so this capacitors here has as a purpose to make the signal or the voltage a pure voltage or a clean voltage basically this one filter the voltage in order to get a continual voltage and this one the ceramic capacitor as you know Always ceramic capacitors remove or eliminate the noise from any circuit. Okay, so then what we have here, we have the pads as you can see, two pads over here. We have pad one for five volt and pad two for three volt. So basically, here pads for me, I use pads as a test point. For example, if you want to check whether you get 5 volts in this channel or 3 volts in this channel you should use the pad never go and for example check here in the integrated circuit pinout or MOSFET pinout you could make a short circuit go directly and check the pad the pad is isolated from other component it's easy to take measurement or make measurement using these two pads Okay. And of course, we, we, we will get 5 volt and 3 volt. So this is how the 3 volt and 5 volt circuit is works. <coughs> and of course, 
all circuits in the motherboard has the same working principle the same working principle if you understand just one circuit you can understand and analyze and of course troubleshoot and fix any motherboard you get uh, i mean if the motherboard is it old motherboard or newer motherboard etc because many of my followers ask me why you use old motherboards to teach us or to make videos uh, so the semi please use uh, an advanced a very newer motherboards so my response for my followers my loyal followers i respect you but as a technician and based on my experience the beginners the beginners people or followers will understand easily and rapidly or quickly by analyzing old motherboards because in old motherboards everything is separated and and understand and you can understand it easily but <coughs> In advanced motherboard, for example, all chipsets are integrated in just one chipset. We don't have CPU alone, uh, ICH, not bridge, graphic card alone. No, all chipsets are integrated in just one chipset. How can a beginner understand what is the GMCH, what is ICH, what is graphic card? No, me, I prefer old motherboards. And if you understand old motherboards, 100% the advanced motherboard will be easy for you. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. We're gonna see the rest of the course in the next video. Basically, uh, this course is a very huge course because in this course, it will be, I will cover everything you can imagine okay in laptop preparing in this course so if you follow with me you will understand everything troubleshooting the short circuit troubleshooting no power motherboard no data motherboard uh, problem in the charge circuit uh, no charging motherboard etc please for anyone doesn't yet subscribe don't hesitate to subscribe for incoming videos and please don't forget to share the video and like the video and of course for anyone who, for anyone who want to join me in the patreon page you are very welcome you are free if you want to join me you are free of course there i will or i upload in a daily basis many laptop schematics many many useful content tricks and tips on how to repair laptop motherboards etc thank you very much and please comment below if you have any question post it in the comment below below thank you very much and see you in the next video today